Aha, I wanted to test a little theory I had. That's where the problem is right there. It's right here, not here. So I'm glad I didn't bother to take the motor apart. That's what's got to be fixed. Well, I'm in luck. It looks like uh, this is the type of switch where it's cut on both ends. I thought it might be the one where it had the one line running straight through. But So this should be pretty easy to uh, go ahead and rewire. I will strip it from back here, cut it about right there, and reconnect these wires. Alright, I'm going to get the soldering gun out and solder them same as the original. Camera, you're in the way. We're in business. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and figure out how to take apart the or dismount this <clears throat> to mount it vertically, which I think is the screw over on this side. And by the way, I'm curious if anybody out there knows what would go on this. does have the little slot which is meant for so I can get it that far I don't know what would uh, I haven't found anything else in my pile of stuff that looks like it would fit that 
almost like it looks like it would be for a rotary table sort of thing. See now this this goes on the same way, and that's pretty obvious. That's for your your drill table, which we'll probably use. Might as well just leave that on there. Um, but nothing else over here really looks like it would go on top of that. So I'm probably missing something. Yeah, I've had good luck so far, so I can't complain. Alright, so <clears throat> I think to take this head off. Down here comes undone. So this will definitely allow you to turn this. Because for some operations they um and they build this as a uh, well not that way, let me see. I think if I tightened it down really good, it would, it would lock this way. Of course, maybe it's supposed to go good. Anyway, <clears throat> you're supposed to be able to, uh, you know, put a, uh, a polishing wheel or grinding wheel or whatever on this side. So that does that. Let's see. If I just pull the whole thing out, if it pops off. Aha! Uh -huh. Another one of these. See, I have one of those that I wondered what it did. Now I know. Yeah, and here we go. This here. I don't know how it comes out. I don't know if I actually have to drive the pin out or what. But I've um, got several of these. So I don't know why you would have multiple ones. That one's pretty good. So to take these rails off, it looks like you have to come from underneath. Which means you'd have to dismount it. Well, that's, uh, it's not all that convenient, but whatever. Okay, so... I don't see any... well, let's see. Hold on. Oh, yeah. It's flat on this side has a taper here which matches that so I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is how it's supposed to go Alright, it's working now. Yeah, it had just gotten stuck sitting so long. Alright, so maybe that's worth going ahead and doing that. And they make reproduction <clears throat> chucks that'll fit this. It's a 12 by 1 metric thread there. So 15 or 20 bucks or something, and you can buy a, a different chuck for it. So let's see. So that's how it would work. Bring it down to whatever height you want. Use your little. 
What am I doing? There we go. Swing. And you got a little drill press. Kind of cool. Now I noticed in all the pictures from milling, they're just using the same chuck. So they're putting a an end mill. Not this chuck. This this chuck just got stuck with this machine somehow. Um, it's not the one it was made for, but a regular, you know, Jacobs type chuck. Um, and that's what they're, they show in the pictures, holding a, uh, an end mill. So, that's a little on the sketchy side. What are you going to do? It's interesting. I found some pictures of where people made, um, they duplicated this, uh, um, holding configuration, made a little block that would then mount on, uh, a regular lathe, like my Atlas, and, um, so then they could either... <clears throat> Drill things that are, uh, you know, if you had stock running across uh, your actual lathe, and you could use it as a drill, or turn it to the side, oh, alright, tidy lift you, Lucy, hello. to the side and use it as a grinder which is interesting I wonder if it would work any better than my little grinder that I built already using a um, rotozip I don't know maybe it would that's something I could try, though, is, uh, as I'm deciding whether to keep it. Only thing is, right now, I need belts for it, so I'm going to have to invest, you know, 15 bucks, it looks like. Uh, that's what I found them for online. Unless I wanted to get on the auto parts store and just get O-rings, but I think that I'm probably going to spend 15 bucks on O-rings. Um of the appropriate size and you know they're not going to last that long and they won't be exactly the right size there's a guy that makes them up uh, these have a strong hobby following and there's a guy that makes them up uh, lifetime guarantee Tommy's tool shop or something like that so I think it'd be worth the investment whether I'm going to sell it or not to put 15 bucks into it 